Okay, so we're here on the University of Arizona campus in Tucson, Arizona, and I want to show you one of my favorite water harvesting sites uh, and how it contrasts with what's right next door, which is not a favorite site. Uh, all too typical uh, exposed heat island effect generating parking lot that is draining the majority of the rain that falls upon it and the rain that falls on the roofs of these adjoining buildings that drains into the parking lot. It then flows down this concrete drain and out of the system, wasting that free on-site water. But what's really cool here is just a few yards away, we've got the Kapla landscape, College of Architecture, Landscape Architecture and Planning uh, landscape that is infiltrating, cycling, harvesting, reinvesting the majority of the free on-site waters to great effect to create an oasis-like living classroom. Let's take a look. All right, so now that I've stepped into the shade, my mood is enhanced and I'm no longer pissed off like I was in that hot exposed parking lot because now it's much more comfortable. I hear all these bird song around me. I see hummingbirds flying around. This is good stuff. I want to go in further. So what I love about this lush landscape is it's being irrigated primarily by the waste from the building, the adjoining building. I don't know if you can see it behind that metal trellis, but there is a, uh, a very tall cistern. So I'm standing here in front of the 11,000 gallon rainwater tank, 85,000 gallons of rainwater a year and 95,000 gallons of air conditioning condensate a year come off the roof through this tank before entering the landscape. Here what we have is for the most part water recirculating with a recirculating pump so you have this ornamental water feature. Um, but there is a little bit of overflow uh, coming through the system at the moment as well. That water is then hits this pond. It's a 15,000 gallon pond and a really cool thing here is they've, uh, they are raising endangered fish, helotop minnow, and endangered native lowland leopard frogs. So right in the middle of the city, we have this, uh, this cool ecological refuge. So the, uh, some of the water caught in this pond is able to infiltrate around it because the pond liner does not come all the way up the banks. It only comes halfway. So the water that's uh, come up over the liner can then infiltrate below, and that's the irrigation source for this Arizona sycamore. So this lush landscape, it is getting 83% uh, to 87% of its water needs met just by free on-site waters, previously wasted urban waters. And what I mean by that is the roof runoff, it's the air conditioning condensate coming from the air conditioners on the roof, it's drinking fountain gray water, uh, and it's some filtered water from the, the well I'll show you in a moment. Which all too often just goes to the storm drain or the sewer. But here it's going into the landscape. So uh, Ron Stoltz, the ex-dean, he's since retired um, here, he had a great vision that uh, this landscape here at Kapla would prove the concept that uh, the entire campus could be transformed to be irrigated uh, primarily or entirely by the previously wasted waters running off site, but now infiltrated and reinvested in the landscape of the site. So here we have the oasis of the Capitol landscape, and you can see the parking lot where Ron envisioned that to be the second largest green space on campus. Uh, irrigated, designed, just as this one was, now the concept's been proven. And if you look out there, what natural topographical fig, uh, feature do you see? Okay, that low parking lot and the high buildings around it. Hopefully again, you see we have the canyon land of the parking lot surrounded by the mesas of the buildings. So as this landscape is, a new landscape, a, an enhancement of this landscape growing into that parking lot could similarly be sustained just by the runoff from the roofs, the buildings drains, direct rainfall captured in there rather than being kicked out of the system. So when I was mentioning above how uh, Ron Stolt's vision was uh, to prove the concept here with how you can use so-called waste, waste waters as resource waters to create a sustainable oasis um, and how he wanted, now it's been proven, to spread into the parking lot. Well, I think this shows the power of the example, power of a demonstration site. Even if it's your home site, you can 
prove the concept, you can be the spark, you can be the inspiration to inspire, influence your block, your neighborhood, your city, and beyond. Uh, we can do it on all scales.